I'm Joe James. In this video, we're going to learn what is a lowest common multiple, how to find the lowest common multiple, and how to write a Python program to calculate the lowest common multiple of two numbers or three numbers. So the lowest common multiple is also called sometimes the least common denominator. The denominator being the lower number of a fraction because it's used for converting fractions to the same denominator so that you can do addition and subtraction operations on them. So let's look at an example, 2 eighths plus 3 eighths. These numbers are really easy to add because as you can see they both have 8 for the denominator. So to add 2 eighths plus 3 eighths we simply add the numerators and keep the denominator. 5 eighths. So another example, 7 twelfths minus 6 twelfths. So we're doing subtraction operation, and since both numbers have the same denominator, we can simply subtract 7 minus 6, and we get 1 twelfth. But if the numbers both don't have the same denominator, as in this case, we have to first convert them to the same denominator before we can do the addition. So here we decided that 15 is a common multiple, it may not be the lowest common multiple, but it is a common multiple because 3 times 5 is equal to 15. Let's figure out what the numerator should be. 5 goes into 15 3 times, so we have to multiply the numerator by 3. So we get 9 fifteenths. And here 3 goes into 15 5 times, so we have to multiply the numerator of the right fraction by 5. And we get 5 fifteenths. So now that we've converted both numbers to the same denominator, we can do the addition 9 plus 5, which equals 14 fifteenths. So how do we get the lowest common multiple? Can't we just multiply the two denominators? Well, you can get a common multiple by multiplying the two denominators, but it's not the lowest common multiple. And it gets to be a problem if you have large denominators already and you're multiplying them together, you get a much bigger denominator. So in this case, 3 twelfths plus 4 twenty-fourths. If we just multiplied these denominators together, we'd get 288 as a common denominator. And we can do the problem this way. But 288 is definitely not the lowest common denominator. So when we convert 3 twelfths to 72 over 288 and 4 twenty-fourths to 48 over 288, we add these together, we get a rather large fraction, 120 over 288, then we can reduce that to 5 twelfths, which is not very obvious. An easier way to solve this problem, though, is to recognize that 24 is a common denominator. So 4 twenty-fourths, we don't have to convert at all. 3 twelfths, we're simply multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by 2 to get 24 as a denominator, so we get 6 twenty-fourths. Now we can simply do the addition, and we get 10 over 24, which easily reduces to 5 twelfths, the same solution. So let's do a, a practice problem here. Let's try and find the lowest common multiple of 3 and 4. Now first we could list out all the multiples of 3 and all the multiples of 4, and then we could look through this list and say, well, which one is the smallest, right? That's what we want is the lowest common multiple that's in both lists, right? We want the lowest number that appears in both lists. In this case, it's 12, right? It happens to be the product of 3 and 4. In some cases, that may be the answer, the product of the two numbers, and as it is in this case. The best case is that the lowest common multiple will be the max of the two numbers, or in this case, 4. So that, what I mean by best case, let me explain. A lowest common multiple of 2 and 4 is 4. It can't be lower than either of the two numbers, right? So a lowest common multiple has to be at least the larger of the two numbers. And so a lowest common multiple of 2 and 11, there's no point in even looking at 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 because we know those are not the lowest common multiple because they're not divisible by 11. So we can start checking for lowest common multiples at the higher of these two numbers, or 11, right? 11, 22, wham, 22 is divisible by 2, so 22 is our answer in this case. So the point is, the larger the two numbers is really the best starting point and the best thing to use is an increment when checking for lowest common multiple. 
So the best case is the maximum of the two numbers. The worst case is the product of the two numbers. We know that the product of the two numbers is always going to be a common multiple. We just don't know if it's the lowest common multiple. But that's a good stopping point. And we know it's going to be a multiple of the larger two numbers. So we can use this to uh, do the calculation, which I'll show you in a second here. In this case, it could be 4, 8, and 12. So there's really only three checks to do. We get all the multiples of the higher of the two numbers, 4, 8, and 12. We check if each of these is divisible by 3, starting from the smallest. Is 4 divisible by 3? No. Is 8 divisible by 3? No. Is 12 divisible by 3? Yes. So 12 is our lowest common multiple. So let's say we want to find the lowest common multiple of 6 and 9. So it could be, looking at only the multiples of 9, 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, all the way up to the product of the two numbers, 54. So that's the highest number we would look at. That's the worst case. And 9 is the best case. It couldn't be lower than 9. So we'll check these one by one. Is 9 divisible by 6? No. Is 18 divisible by 6? Yes, it is. 6 times 3 is equal to 18, even. So our answer is 18. Now let's write a Python program to compute the lowest common multiple of two numbers, numbers 1 and number 2. We'll define a function called LCM that accepts two integers. First what thing we want to do is swap them so that number 1 is the smaller of the two and number 2 is the larger of the two. If number 1 is larger than number 2, then simply swap them. Reassign number 2 to number 1 and number 1 to number 2. Now we'll use a for loop. We're going to use 4x in range. We want to start with the larger of the two numbers. We want to iterate through numbers in increments of the larger of the two numbers. Now if you recall the range function in Python, the arguments here that we're providing to the range function are from 2 plus 1 and step. So this num2 is our step, and this num1 times num2 plus 1 is our worst case. That's what we're going to count up to. So we're going to go from num2 to the product of the two numbers plus 1 in steps or increments of num2. And the range function will return one number at a time. And then inside this for loop, we'll check each time if x is evenly divisible by number 1, then that is the solution. And we use the mod function to find that. So we do x mod num1. And what mod does, x mod num1 divides x by num1. And if the remainder is 0, in other words, if there's nothing left over after we do this division, then we return x because that's the answer. So that solves the two number lowest common multiple. It's only six lines of code. It's very simple. Now let's look at how we can find the lowest common multiple of a list of three numbers. We'll define our function LCM3 that takes a list of nums that contains three numbers. First thing we'll do is sort them so that we can put them in ascending order from smallest to highest. We'll create a variable called worst which is the product of the three numbers. That's the worst case. The lowest common multiple can be no higher than the product of the three numbers we passed in. Now we can structure our for loop. For x in range, we'll start again with the highest of the three numbers, which is nums2. We'll count up to worst plus 1, and we'll go in increments of the higher of the three numbers, nums2 again. So that's going to iterate through numbers using the highest as a starting point and in increments of the highest number. Each time through the loop, we check if x is evenly divisible by num0 and x is evenly divisible by nums1. And if it's evenly divisible by both of those two numbers, then we return x. So we can call our function by creating a new list called nums and we can put 3, 2, and 16 into it, or whatever we want, and then print the result that comes back from LCM3 of nums. The first thing our function will do is sort these numbers into ascending order, and then it will start using 16 as our loop variable. 
So we'll range from 16 in steps of 16 up to the product of the three numbers. That wraps up my video on lowest common multiples in Python. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please give me the thumbs up and uh, leave some feedback. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.